on everyone welcome back to the cast and conquer channel i'm andrew walker we got jared behind the camera we got steve and my buddy dan behind us and we're on another road trip in search of first ice for the umpteenth time as you can see there's no snow we just made about a three hour drive we picked up some minnows at owls bait and tackle in pembroke the only place i get my minnows in the valley he's got an amazing selection of all sizes and we're headed to a pretty special lake. My buddy Cody has a cottage on this lake. So we can fish some big walleyes and burbits through the ice over the next four days. We're taking you guys along with us. It's 342, we're almost at the lake and we're hoping that we can get on some amazing gold bars and once that sun goes down, some big burbit. So let's go onward to the lake. See you guys out there, let's get it. on the side from the, where they come in from the deep water okay. or are they going to come out from the weeds uh, so i like questioned it i was like ah I'll try the weeds tonight all right we made it out on the ice and as you can see behind me in the window the sun is almost gone down it is 4 51 we're going to stay out till about eight o'clock tonight and be back at the crack of dawn tomorrow but we're about to start fishing the walleye bite and the burr bite here is amazing so we're going to be starting with a frostbite meat locker with a small little scissor kick there did so good in the last crappy video and then a slap shot with a big 60 mil tantrum in lemonade and then a true grit with a jigging wrap of course i think i'm going to try to start we have some minnows but i think i'm going to try to start all with artificial baits and of course running all three rods with the diesel reels and the frostbite braid and we are dialed Lad scope's down. Jared's already in. He's trying to sneak one in before I get down there, the bugger. <laughs> Look at him right there, just. Hey, I try to get my fish when I can. So we're gonna drop in. First drop, let's go. I hope to catch walleye. It's been all I've been wanting to catch since ice has started. I absolutely love walleye. And if you guys noticed, I don't know if you noticed, but the, shave the beard, shave the head, got the stash going. Hope you guys like it. Drop a comment below to let me know if you like it. And if you do, subscribe because I think I'll be keeping this stash going all winter. Let's get to fishing. What do you got on? I got the mini version of that uh, prototype that we tried. With the, uh, oh, the tantrum? Yeah. And you got one on there too. That's good, you'll call him in, I'll catch him. Although it doesn't make noise. Oh, I'm so hot right now. This Eskimo is heating up. I got the frostbite sweater on too, so it's just like overload. Overload with heat. Steve and Dan are right behind us. They got their tent all set up. We got jaw jackers in on each corner, both laying on bottom. Well, we will, we will get walleyes on the bottom like that, but we are trying to get some burbot. I want to eat burbot, so let's drop in. Yes, sir. We're fishing, boy. We're dialed now, five o'clock. In the summer, in this lake, in like 25 feet of water, you see bottom. Nice. It's, it's called Clear Lake because it's like literally the clearest lake. And that's why the bite gets so good during the day or during the night because it's like they can see too much during the day. It takes like an overcast day. We got him. Little guy. Wild eye. So for sure what we saw before were purchase. Sure. Okay, didn't take long, maybe 15 minutes. Not the biggest walleye, but the first one of the trip. Nice little, maybe like, I don't know, 10 incher. We're gonna get him back right away. In Jared's hole. See you later, alligator. And it's a go on the scissor kick. He just came in and raced up, missed it the first time, shot back down, ate it. That's what we love to see. They can't say no to that chartreuse. There's a kick. I'm gonna get back down there because I think this is the start of what's gonna be a great night. Got a nice one coming in. 
That's a good fish. Tap it on the spot. Tap it, tap. Oh, he didn't like it. He got rejected, Jared, oh, so no. hard. That's a good one. That was a two pounder. That's the class we're looking for, bigger. Jared's got one under him again. Probably the same fish, just came back. Drop it down. I think you're too high for them. Change baits. That's twice that piece of crap got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you've had a tantrum with some rattles down there, he would have ate it. Jared's like, oh, I'm using a rattle bait. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, it doesn't rattle though. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jared had a fish below him, but I might have stole it. Oh, he's gonna eat me. Yeah. We got him. Drags a little loose. It's a good fish. It's a good walleye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him. I told Jared, your piece of garbage isn't working. He listened. He's changing. Yeah. Pfft. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. That's probably made in Quebec. Yeah, these are Ontario fish, eh? Yeah. Fish number two. That's a little bit better. Probably a nice, like, almost two pounder, I'd say. Came in and ate the scissor kick. He showed up under Jared. Jared was in the middle of the change because he's using some kind of garbage. And I told him, put something frostbite on or a jig and wrap. Look at him smiling back there. He's changing right now. Fish showed up under him. He got rejected twice. This fish saw the scissor kick and just ran over and ate it. We're not going to keep any fish tonight, so this guy gets to go back. See you later, alligator. Oh, I'm making a mess. There we go, number two. What a start. It's only been 15 minutes. It's going to be a good night. I don't think Steve and Dan are fishing yet, but we are capitalizing on this bite right now. I think it's going to bite all night. I'm going to keep going after him. You got your garbage off, Jared? I got it off. <laughs> oh, you went with white? I would have went with perch or blue or gold. Yeah, they didn't have any size. Uh... Yeah, I should have went for the good size that I have all the colors in. I'll try white. When you get rejected twice, you'll change again. What's going on? Him? A piece of a minnow was falling down. And fish came up to look at it, and Jared's jig was right there, ready to go. He's coming back for you. I'd say it's like the first one I caught. I don't like the white. You didn't buy. You got a crap color on. White is the way to go, man. No, the white's never the way to go. What? I hate white. Only in the summer I use white. I hate it on the ice. A lot more fish coming from your side. That's to give me a chance, you know? They just come in. In the morning, it'll be the opposite. They'll all be coming back out from the shallows. Oh, that's a good fish. You just cruise by, eh? Yeah, there's one, though. On the rattle bait. Little guy. On the tantrum, baby! Let's go! Big fish came in. Didn't eat Jared, because he's got that white garbage still on. No! Yeah, that's what it is. Every fish that comes in is committing to me, because I got good choice of lures. What are my lures? Frostbite lures. You know what I'm good with? I'm normally good with a buck Put a scissor kick, same thing. Except it's got bleeds. Well, big fish came in cruising by. Didn't even touch Jared's white jigging wrap. I told him, white is a bad color. You gotta have a perch or a natural. Second fish showed up. I just made a switch to the tantrum and he didn't say no. The baits I chose are working. Jared's gonna have to rethink his choices because he ain't getting any gold right now. Well, we're gonna send this guy back down Jared's hole. Maybe that's the thing. I keep sending my fish back down Jared's hole. <laughs> but the fish are biting. 5.30 now. It's only been like 40 minutes and we are on a man. It is so good to feel that bite. Got him. Flew in at me. Dinker. Past Jared. Straight to me. See you later. Alligator. My lure is right there and the weeds stop four feet away and I have no weeds under me. It's really nice and hard. So we're in the zone. Good transition line. That's where you want to be. Right on the edge. Okay, so we're resetting jaw jacker outside because we realized to the right of the tent we were right on the weed edge where we're jigging. So that jaw jacker was actually in weeds. And then we got a jaw jacker on the left here. It's on a hard bottom in about 24 feet of water. So in between where Steve is and us, Steve's in 30. So I just moved to a harder bottom because I want more burbot on these deadlines than walleyes, because we're gonna get the walleyes jigging. So I'm gonna set that like that, and reel my tip close to where it's gonna be set, leaving them maybe three or four inches extra line that allows them to pick it up and actually make sure he eats it. I'm setting this little loop here 
under there, lifting my trigger with the line in it, and everything here is set and ready to go. We got a jaw jacker fish. Oh yeah, first walleye of the year. Nice Little man. cutie. What a start. Say bye, bye bye, a little release, a little jaw jacky. Thanks buddy. Bye bye. Big fish. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Just showed up on it. Come on. He's do it. it. No, do he's it. gonna eat it. Oh yeah. White fish. White fish at night. Oh, what a bondo. Sick. That's what happened we're seeing cruising by like that. Sick. Nice. Yeah, that's so <laughs> sick. Ate the tantrum. He's coming home. Yes. So we had a little fish come in on bottom, and then this fish showed up fully suspended. 710 at night. Absolute beauty. White fish. Ate the 60 mil tantrum. Came up to it at first, and then kind of went over to Jared, and then was heading back to bottom, and he started coming back over to me, and he committed to it. I thought I had a nice walleye, but that's like a. 26, 27 inch whitefish. Let's go. That's so sick. Nice. All right, we're going to keep that guy. I know a couple guys with smokers, and I've heard whitefish smoked is absolutely amazing. So we're going to get that pretty face outside to be prepared for the smoker on another day. That's so sick. Whoa. What a catch. Whoa. Crazy. That makes sense why those big suspended fish would come see you and then spook. Yeah. Makes a little bit more sense. I didn't even know whitefish bit at night. What a grab in the hole. Just came unpinned. My my jigging wrap still in the tent. <laughs> or my, my tantrum. <laughs> That's an aggressive whitefish to eat that bait. Well, that, yeah. Do you like egg salad? No. No? It's gas station egg salad. It's okay, the best one. It's the worst. It's like questionable that you might get sick every time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, big one, big one. Oh dude, it's like a 30 incher. It's a monster, it's a monster. You want me to get the gap? You can see him under the ice. Oh yeah. Oh my God, he's right in the hole. Yes! Let's go! It's like a 10 pounder. No way. No way. Just Are you with me the whole time? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I heard it from outside. I was like, I have to go see this. I could see it through the ice. Well, it is 8.18. We decided to call a little bit early. We're going to head back to the truck. Go to town. We got about a 40 minute drive into my wife's mom's house where we're going to stay. We're going to get some McDonald's. We're going to get all fueled up for tomorrow because we're going to be out here at the butt crack of dawn to try to get on this early morning bite. We're gonna keep the tent here tonight, maybe move it tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna go get some food. We'll see you guys in the morning. Set up, ready to go to Walla coming in. Come on, eat it. You bumped it again. He's just bumping it. Why won't he eat it? Finally! Finally! We got a little Walter. Let's go. First one in the morning on the scissor kick. We got a big one, but it's one. Nice little fish. Gonna get him back. I need to get a head cam battery going, but
the fire cam going. We're gonna get dialed here, guys. But the fish are not gonna let us. We're back. This is the morning of day two. We got our McDonald's last night. We ended up chilling out until about midnight. Woke up at I woke up at 5:55, but a lot of the guys woke up at like five o'clock. And uh, we made the drive, 50 minute drive, back out on the ice right now. The sun is just coming up. But we're gonna start with the same presentations as yesterday. Tantrums, scissor kicks, and jigging wraps. We're hoping today we can get on some more big walleye and whitefish. We're gonna get fishing. Let's get it going. We got a pike. Close the door. <laughs> Come on. Come on, that was a pike. That was a huge pike. He's gone. Big old pike. I think it's a pike. It's, it's a walleye. It's a giant, dude. It's a pike. It's a nice pike, though. It's a super nice pike. The jig's gone. Give him one. Give him one. Let him go. It's fluoro in his mouth, so the the whole the whole dinner bell's gone. That was sick on live scope. I want it to be like the right grab, you know? Yeah. I'm just gonna try to aim his head. Yeah, if we can get his head like that again, I'll try to like trout scoop him. Come on, baby. Yes, sir! Sick! Nice one. Yeah. Nice little pike. What Good are we, fight. What are we gonna do with him? I think it's gonna be lunch. I think it's gonna be lunch. We got a couple fish that we're gonna clean up and we're gonna have a nice little shore lunch with this guy. That's a dandy keeper. Nice, my first nice golden 20 incher of the season on the hyperglide. Sick fish, man. Yeah, baby. Midday. Nice. Yeah. Nice little keeper gonna go in the belly. Sick, man. Yeah, it was sick. She came in the live scope. Like, I'm just talking with dad jigging. Yeah. Paf. No hesitation. It's nice to see that they're aggressive. the day right now we're gonna take this time to clean up some fish I got my catch and cook knife here brand new out of the box we got a couple nice little walleyes we're gonna clean up a pike a nice fat perch that Steve got too that's a beauty fatty and he's gonna be going in some lemon pepper so we're gonna heat up the oil on Steve's heater Last little bit of fish, Jared. Delicious. It was so good. So hot. Thank you, Andrew. It oh. was absolutely amazing. So well, good. And we're in the prime time now. We're gonna go back to our tent, me and Jared. It's 2.30, prime time buddy's gonna start. We're gonna get on them tonight, this overcast. We've seen quite a bit of fish today, all day, and it's been a much better day than we thought it was gonna be. So we're hoping tonight's gonna be just as good. Stick with us, it's not over. Hopefully we get a big burbot when the sun goes down.
But nope. Swim away, little boy. Bye. We had two little guys come in. One went over to Jared, one went over to me. Mine wouldn't commit. Jared missed his and then came over to me. And there you got it. Well, there are a lot more fish showing up. I just got double header Mondos. <laughs> two fish came in together. We'll get them back. And at the same time that I got that one, Steve or Dan in the other tent got one and they're coming in right now to give us a show. That is a good one. I think that's a keeper. That, that's measured it. Eh? Yeah, right. Oh, nice. 20 incher. They yeah. have to be bigger than 19 and a half here with a two man limit each. Let's fish on the screen. Dan's going to go back to his tent. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get back yeah, to fishing. Yeah. We're going to hopefully get a big one like that in this tent soon. Small, so small. Oh, it's so small. Okay. Minuscule. I'll see you later. Come on. Come racing in and then you just stop four inches underneath it. He likes the big pop. Like when I do those four inch pops and it jumps around harder. Oh, he's back. Back. Rocket speed. Well, it's the flurry of dinks right now. I've had four this size now, all like five to ten inches. Seen two big fish. They got spooked. And it is five o'clock. This is when it picked up last night. So we were hoping we just want one twenty incher. Just want to feel that rod bend and a good bite. They're here. It's just a waiting game. And we got jaw jackers outside. Maybe we'll get a bourbon. We're gonna see. Okay, so we were over in Steve's tent and we left a minnow rod here as we were packing. And now, right before we were about to leave, it seems like the minnow might have something on it. It does. Be a bourbon. Come on, be a bird. And it's fighting good. Fighting like a burb. It's a big burb. Oh yeah. Nice. Let's go. Burb it, baby. Sick. There's one down there. Yeah, I thought it was the dust that he kicked up. On the pack up. Beauty burb. That's what we like to see. Such nice colors on him. This guy's going to be being kept for some poor man's lobster. He is not going to be going back. That is my first burbot, I think, since the game inches. Absolute. Oh, they do not like showing to the camera. Beauty burbot. Let's go. All right, well, we're heading in. That was a great night. See you guys on the next video. Burbot for dinner. Let's go.